Welcome back to Better Than Before. I'm your host, Tony Richards. And today, I've got five big ideas for elite-level sales managers. So here are five things that elite-level sales managers could really focus on. Number one, win their hearts because challenging times are a-coming. You're going to have to have some mediocre to bad years. And that's just the way the business cycle works. And when those times come, you need your sales reps support. And the rapid pace of change in business today is enough to throw organizations into chaos. So you need to make sure your salespeople believe in the changes that are happening, both in the economy, in the sandbox, and also in your own organization. And for you to fill in the blanks about the future within your organization, make them feel and know that they are an important part of the future company, not just the organization that is today, but the organization that will be. Big idea number two for elite level sales managers, where there's smoke, there's probably an inferno. Most sales managers give a lot of latitude, autonomy, and trust to their salespeople, and that is wonderful and highly recommended. But every now and then, you're going to find that one of your sales reps maybe cheated on some mileage reports, perhaps cheated on expenses that maybe shouldn't have really been charged, or maybe they told a little fib on the CRM about sales calls. And in every case here, they've betrayed your trust. They've misled you in some way, some small, some, some, some small and some big. They've also betrayed the trust of the company. And in my experience, any smoke means that there's probably more there than meets the eye. And it's your job to look into it, dig deeper, and don't just continue to trust and ignore. Big idea number three, you can never communicate too much. You're always going to have to choose on a trade-off with your people. It's either going to be not enough communication or too many meetings. I would always choose too many meetings especially during times of intense change. Now, people don't hate meetings. They hate bad meetings. So you got to pull out all the stops to help your sales reps understand the picture very clearly. Your structure, your roles and accountabilities, your expectations, the reasons and the rationale of everything you do. Create a strong story and a strong rhythm of communication that communicates your story and your message to your team very clearly and very consistently. Big idea number four for elite level sales managers, hit your own objectives and goals. Yes, that's right. You might say, well, my job is to help others succeed and that's wonderful. And yes, I understand that you should be doing that. And at the same time, you need your own priorities. You need your own metrics and you need a few of your own uh, that only apply to your position in the organization. Of course, their results are going to flow up to you, right? And you're going to have team metrics, but you need a couple of individual metrics that are going to continue to challenge, continue to motivate, continue to stretch you, continue to make your growth work hard, to stay focused, and be an example that others will want to follow and aspire to. You know, I always wanted to be the kind of manager that other people wanted to be, where it's like, well, I'd like to get into management because of that person. You don't want to be the example of why they never want to be a manager. Big idea number five for elite level sales managers, listen, learn, and laugh a lot. Active listening is hard to do. It's going to require you to sharpen up and tune up your high emotional intelligence skills. One of those being turning down the volume of your own stream of dialogue in your head, your self-talk, and your own judgment or approval of what your sales reps are saying to you. Just actually actively listen to what they're saying. And you'll be able to tell you're doing that, and they will be able to tell you're doing that, because instead of being right on top of everything they say, like a ping pong match, you'll actually have some pregnant pauses where you're actively considering what they have suggested or said to you. Like I said, don't just be on top of their every sentence. Actually take it in, process it, and then respond on purpose. Constant learning 
means you're working hard to stay relevant in today's rapidly changing business environment. It doesn't take very long to fall behind. That's how fast change is going. So you're really going to have to make an effort to consistently learn and stay relevant. And finally, lots of laughing. Keep it as light as you possibly can. Sales can be fun. Work at it. It's all going to start with you and your leadership. Thank you for listening to Better Than Before with Tony Richards, a business leaders podcast powered by Clear Vision Development Group. For more resources from Tony, visit clearvisiondevelopment.com. Join us next time for another episode of Better Than Before with Tony Richards.